I've been shooting digital for a lot of years now, but I've always had a certain appreciation for people who shoot film because I think that it is a form of art, film photography. It is a way to, you know, get better at photography, get better at, you know, composing shots, think better about settings and everything. So I've always had like a respect for people who shoot film. And I have been collecting cameras, like film cameras since 2012, 13, 14, when I bought my first SLR camera. That was like the first and then I haven't bought any uh, film camera, but I've always like looked at them on marketplaces, didn't get around to do it. I have been watching Volandis, which is a film photographer from Detroit, I think. He is very talented. I've, I love his style, the way he think about shots and composition and everything. He shoots with a Mamiya RZ67, if I'm not mistaken, and he does what he calls environmental photography, which is uh, shooting his neighborhood, where he grew, uh, he grew up, and everything, which is which contains like guns and violence. I don't see any violence, but people consider it like you know shooting guns or shooting people with guns. You know, photos of people with guns is you know, I don't know, contributing to violence. I, I don't understand it, but that is his way of shooting. He shoots what he grew up seeing, what he sees around him. You know. Uh, low-income houses it's very nice you, you guys should check it out i'll put his you know bio instagram uh, youtube everything in the description so you can check it out but since watching him like for some months now three four months i have been getting more excited more interest in film photography for f film photography so i've gone from having one analog camera to having five analog cameras in the last two months something like that and i wanted to show you guys which analog cameras i have and talk about them that, that's it that's it i just want to i just want to make a video uh, about my film cameras and just you know <laughs> tell you why i appreciate film photography and why i have been doing it for the past four to five six weeks something like that let's start with the first one that i bought this is the pay 3 fte i think this is a japanese camera it has a 55 1.7 lens and it's manual and auto I, i'm not sure how automatic it is but you can set the aperture with this ring here you can set it and then focus with this ring you can you know cock the film here and set the iso here of the film the asa what they say when it comes to film asa and you can shoot it with the trigger here which i like about this camera the trigger is right here instead of here i think that's great because your trigger finger is more comfortable here when you hold the camera than shooting right here which other analog cameras have so i think the trigger is one of the nice things about this camera being right here and another great thing about this camera is it has a timer you can pull this lever here and then And that's the uh, one thing I like about this camera. It's heavy, pure metal. Like, this is this is a beast. The first roll that I got when I bought this camera, the, the guy where I, that I bought it from put a roll in here for me so it can show me how to load the camera with film. And I haven't taken it out to develop. I have it in here for like seven to eight years now, I think. So I have to get around to do that. I still have two more shots. I think these two I bought from a old man, a very nice old man, a couple of weeks ago. Kodak Instamatic 154, which is a camera that I do not know if it works or not. Right here is where you like, you like cock it right here, and then you press this button. So there it is. It sounds so amazing. This sounds so amazing when moving. Look, look, look. <laughs> that sounds so amazing this is so great and then i got this one this is a super 8 camera Achfa super 8 camera not like photography but video this is where you set the aperture this is where you open it right here that's the inside right that looks really really beautiful and it still works this is where you look through 
to you know see what you're filming but you have to wind it up here all right and then click it right here and then we'll film wait stop it filming Yeah, it's so awesome. This is like one of the cameras I was like, I was like, I have to have this. And then I got this one. This one is the Practica BCS Electronic, which I've been using for the last couple of weeks a lot. It has a 50 millimeter 2.4 lens. And what I like about this lens, uh, this camera is that it has a light meter. So inside here, when you look, you can see if your exposure is right or if you're shooting with the right settings. You cannot set the settings, it's all auto. Uh, you have a check uh, bulb and a 60, one over 60 uh, shutter speed. It has a lock mechanism here where the shutter button is. You can, you know, lock it and then when you press, it won't shoot. That's very awesome about this camera. This one also has a timer right here. So you can turn it and then when you wanna shoot, if the exposure, if it's underexposed or overexposed, a red light will blink to show you that the exposure is not good. And when it's almost good, it's yellow. And you have, when you have a good exposure, a green uh, light will you know, go on and then you would know that the exposure is right. So then you can shoot. So I've been using this for quite a while now. I've shot with Portra 800, Portra 400, and now I have Portra 160 in here. If you want to see the shots that I took with this camera already, I'll put the link for my website in the description so you can check it out. Very good camera to start with, you know, shooting in auto and, and it has a light meter. So that helps with getting the exposure right. And now for the last camera that I have, this one I've bought last week this is one camera that i've always wanted to have like one of the this type of camera i'm getting used to it i've shot with it like two times already and it's a pain to shoot with the first times but it is a very very great camera and that is the yashica d like look at this isn't this beautiful like look at this camera it has this as a viewfinder so you pop it up and then you can look inside. Wait, let me take the cap off so you can look inside. And it has a magnifying glass so you can, and there it is. So I can look through here and get like a magnification to look on the viewfinder, which is very great. You can pop this down and then I can look through here, right there. And then when I can pop, I wanna pop it up back, I can just, and it pops up. <laughs> That is awesome. And right here is where you, you know, go to the next film. Right here is the focus, so it moves forward and back, as you can see. And when you're shooting, you're looking through this lens right here to the upper lens. When you watch through here, you watch through this lens. And when you shoot, you shoot with this lens or through this lens. This is where you see the shutter speed and this is where you see the aperture. So when I turn this, I change the aperture. And when I turn this, I change the shutter speed. And when I want to shoot, I have to cock it here. So I'll pull this lever down and then you can shoot here. This is the shutter button. So you click that, click, and then you would shoot. It also has a timer. So when you click it here and then click here, when you cock it, this will go. So there's a film in here right now. That's why I won't do it, but it has a timer. This is from 1956, 58. I'm not sure, but it is a very, very awesome thing. I mean, one of the downsides is that it has 12. It used 120 film and that gives you 12 shots. And when you look up here, everything is mirrored. So if I move to this side, some things move to that side. It's re really weird, but it is a very, very great thing to have i don't know this, i've been playing with this like for the past uh three four days and i'm enjoying it when i get the pictures i'll put it uh, on my website so you can check it out the photos that i shot for the first time with this i'll put the link in the description that's pretty much it those are the cameras that i have those the film cameras that i have i hope you guys are now interested in finding a film camera so you can shoot with i highly recommend every photographer 
videographer to have at least one film camera so you can shoot with from time to time. It is an expensive, you know, hobby if you compare it to digital, but it will help you get better at shooting photos. So I highly recommend getting one. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like down here, you know, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, turn on the notification bell, follow me on my other social media, links are in the description down here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!